Food, one of the healthiest vegetables on the planet, and one day perhaps even off the planet, as NASA has chosen it for space missions. One of the healthiest and cheapest. The study aimed to identify which vegetables provided the most nutrients per dollar. If you look at a graph of affordability versus nutrition, you can see that the healthiest foods, like dark green leafy vegetables, may also be among the cheapest and the highest nutrient-rich food scores per dollar were obtained for sweet potatoes. They're not just packed with nutrition, but may have special cancer-fighting properties. In 1931, a unique protein was discovered in sweet potatoes, later renamed. 80% of the protein in sweet potatoes is a type of protease inhibitor with potential anti-cancer effects. It was originally tested against leukemia cells, and appears to suppress the growth of leukemia cells in a petri dish, but how would a sweet potato protein ever get into our bloodstream? As soon as most proteins hit our stomach, they start getting digested. So they tried sweet potato protein against tongue cancer. Sweet potato constituents certainly come in contact with our mouth. Tongue cancer is often treated with chemo. However, most of the chemo drugs for tongue cancer have great aversive side effects, so it is indispensable for us to find other therapeutic strategies. Sweet potato protein rapidly diminished viability of the cancer within a matter of days, leading them to propose that you know, sweet potato may be useful for human tongue cancer, but presumably not much else. 
Remarkably, though, this class of proteins doesn't just survive digestion, but may be absorbed into the bloodstream intact in at least two of the nine women with advanced cervical cancer they tried giving it to. So, most recently, it was tried on colorectal cancer cells, one of our uh, most common and deadly cancers. Normally we just surgically remove the colon, but that only works in the early stages, since there are often micrometastases outside the colon that can subsequently lead to cancer recurrence and death. And so we've started searching for anti-metastatic agents. And not only does sweet potato protein slow down the growth of colon cancer cells, but decreases cancer cell migration and invasion. Though sweet potato consumption has been associated with lower gallbladder cancer rates, it's never been directly put to the test. But what's the downside? Hi, this is Lisa G, founder of Your Tasty Life. By now you've probably heard about how healthy oatmeal is for breakfast. Well, in just a moment, I'm going to debunk why oatmeal is not what you think it is for breakfast, and in fact, it could be making you fat. Most people enjoy oatmeal in the morning. They'll have a packet of oatmeal. Back in the days when I used to eat oatmeal, I'd have two packets, but they'll have a packet or two of oatmeal. Maybe they're taking the time to make steel cut oatmeal, oatmeal, which is yes, healthier than the instant oatmeal. But nonetheless, they're having oatmeal with what? They're having usually a tablespoon or two of sugar added, and then usually some fruit with it. So we're talking about having oatmeal for breakfast. It's generally not just oatmeal most people are having. But let's just go with this, and let's just say that I'm going to have one packet of oatmeal in the morning, and I'm going to have just one tablespoon of sugar on top of my oatmeal, and I'm going to have one yellow ripe medium banana with my oatmeal. Do you know if you did that five days a week, through the course of a month, you would be consuming the equivalent of five and a half cups of sugar. No kidding, five and a half cups of sugar having this healthy bowl of cereal. Well, obviously you can see I have a little bit different take on how healthy oatmeal is for breakfast. And here's another interesting take on the story. That five and a half cup equivalent sugar load to your body that is the culprit for raising your blood sugar, making it difficult for you to lose weight, and also raising your cholesterol. So what can I do, you're thinking? Today's TMWTD is pretty simple. Don't fall victim to the healthy bowl of oatmeal in the morning. If you're going to have oatmeal, look at making some harm reduction moves. The first step would be to replace the high glycemic banana, meaning the banana raises one's blood sugar quite a bit, with some lower glycemic fruit like berries. The other thing you could do is replace the sugar, such as brown sugar or white sugar, with different options such as stevia or something like Swerve. These things aren't going to give you the blood sugar surges, which lead to higher insulin levels, and those higher insulin levels are culprits in raising our appetite and weight gain, as well as raising our blood cholesterol from having too much carbohydrate or sugar intake. So now, that's a tasty bite you can sink your teeth into. effective diet to lose weight in a week. In this video, I'll show you how to lose weight in a week. The tips you're about to hear are so effective that your body will have no other choice but to discard the extra ounces of fat it's been holding on to in case of an emergency. And the best part is, this advice is not only harmless, but will actually help you improve your health. Let's get right down to it. How can you lose weight in a week? First things first it's very likely you are currently retaining four pounds or more of water weight. You need to get rid of this extra weight. To do it, you need to know what the deal with this unwanted weight is. When your body is not supplied with the amount of water it needs, 
it goes into alert mode and starts accumulating more and more water. In other words, the body goes back to working like it did thousands of years ago when water was scarce. Back then, extra water weight helped people survive through rough conditions. Today, it just makes people feel fat and with swollen bellies. To fight a bloated stomach, you need to trick your body into making it believe there's plenty of water available and that there's no need to carry the extra water weight. The simplest way of achieving this is to drink lots of water all the time. Once you start, your body will realize it doesn't need the stored water any longer and will trigger a signal to release it from the body. The elimination process will happen pretty quickly. If you drink more than three liters of water per day, four or five if you weigh more than 175 pounds, you can lose four and a half pounds of water weight in three to four days. An extra benefit is that drinking a lot of water speeds up the metabolism, making it burn more calories and fat. Listen, I know that the prospect of drinking a lot of water is not very exciting, but it really works, so do it. To wrap up the water subject, prepare yourself to go to the bathroom more often. The increase will be a sign that you're on the right path towards eliminating retained water weight. Are you still following? <laughs> Glad to hear you are. The next thing you need to know about are the six to nine pounds of decomposing matter and feces that you are carrying at the moment and that are hindering your body from working correctly. In fact, as from 26 pounds of overweight, the amount is probably even more. Carrying accumulated human waste in the intestines not only affects your overweight, it can also lead to hemorrhoids, harmful colon bacteria, sudden mood swings, fatigue, sleep disorders, etc. Think about it. It's very important that you understand that you do not want to carry undigested waste in your body. So how can you fix this problem? It's simple, with a big fiber intake of at least one and a half ounces a day. I recommend black beans, apples, and bananas. A can of black beans a day provides 25 grams of fiber. Combine it with three bananas or apples to add 15 more grams to your daily intake. Fiber will help you eliminate accumulated waste, but it may take a while because in most cases, the long years of eating junk food and other empty carbohydrates has made this decomposed matter settle in your system. As soon as you consistently incorporate 40 grams of fiber a day or more, the settled waste will begin to loosen up to be expelled from your system. Your metabolism will speed up even more as a result, enabling your body to burn fat more easily. Some truly powerful extra pieces of advice to lose weight in just a week. Eliminate all beverages from your diet except water, including sodas, energy drinks, juice, etc. These drinks are packed with calories and preservatives that make it more difficult to achieve weight loss. Eliminate white flour and sugary foods such as bread, pasta, cake, candy bars, etc. Reduce your serving sizes and eat five to six regular sized meals a day. Add boiled eggs, chicken breast, and lots of fruit and vegetables into your diet. Follow these tips to lose weight in a week easily and change your metabolism without doing anything crazy. This is all for now. If you wish to receive more information about how to achieve the body of your dreams, visit the link right below this video. I hope you liked it and see you in the next one. Thanks for your attention.